Today's thrilling episode is brought to you in part by Sir Roosh's After Dinner Mints. What a flavor! I'm Charles Martinet, and now it's time for Bit Trip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. I'm Arch Taco, and welcome to my Let's Play of Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Let's go ahead and dive on in. I'll get into some of the game mechanics once we get through these opening cutscenes, and yes, there are actually opening cutscenes. Just wait and see. I'm excited to show you guys. Alright, so yep. Auto saves, yada yada, we got it. When last we left Commander Video, his courageous contingent of charismatic compatriots was in hot pursuit of the fiendish Timbletot as they chased him into a realm above realms called the Hypersphere. It is at this moment, as if from nowhere, that a nefarious reality unfusion beam blindsides these five fearless friends. The always imperturbable Commander Video, shielding his elite assemblage of exceptional allies, takes the brunt of the blast and is sucked into an unknown dimension. A land of wondrous imagination, found only at the apex of light and matter. A wavelength of the optical spectrum opened by the maniacal Timbletot to trap and enslave our gallant protagonist. Confused and companionless, our hero ponders his current position. The only thing that remains clear to him now is that he has fallen prey to a vulgar scheme full of villainy, which he must vanquish. <laughs> Did you catch any of that? Yeah, I didn't really either, but that's okay because this game is pretty much known for its zaniness. Uh, the, the entire Bit Trip series, really. The Pretty awesome. This Wonder one is Man. actually the first one to feature any kind of like narration, and uh, it's actually the first fully 3D game. So, we're at the world map. Uh, there are five worlds in total, 20 levels each. There are three difficulty levels, and this Let's Play is going to be played completely on rather hard. Hardest difficulty. I'm also going to be 100%ing the game, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how high my stress gets at the end of this let's play. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Commander Video plummets back through the layers of a once known reality and into the soft, bulbous bosom of a new one. Unsure of the outcome, but retaining optimism, our hero is guided to his skyward perch, and thus begins his stay in the Welkin Wonderland. I would just like to mention the fact that he just said soft, bulbous bosom. And with that, we're off. For those of you who don't know, this game is a hybrid between a, like, rhythm music game and an endless runner. So, uh, if you can tell from the title. Alright, so, um, basically every, well, every level has that little meter on the upper right-hand corner that shows how much gold we get. If we manage to collect all the gold, um, in each level, we'll unlock a sort of, like, bonus minigame, and that's how we're gonna 100% the game. There are also, oh, this game is also, oh, oh, I just died. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna go through and get all the gold in every level, so if I miss one, I'm gonna have to kill myself. Now, um, this game is also the first to feature checkpoints, which are, oh, so welcome from the first game. The first game is brutal. I mean, oh my god. Um, there are also the, uh, red, uh, plus sign pickup things. Uh, they're right there. Now, uh, they kind of serve as, like, score multipliers, if that makes any sense. So, uh, each one we pick up will give us more points for every obstacle and every pickup we get. And again, if we get four of the plus signs, along with all the gold, we'll unlock this cannon minigame. Alright. Yeah, bullseye! Alright, so if you manage to get every single pickup, you manage to get a bullseye at the end of a level, you get a perfect plus. And that's what we're aiming for in this Let's Play. There will also be other pickups, but we won't get into that. I will mention, though, that this game also has different characters. Now, I'm going to show off every single costume. I have a certain favorite that I'll go to once I show everything off, but for now, we'll go ahead and show off Command Girl video. Oh, -ho. she has a, what is that, a mole and a bow, so that's okay. 
are now one of my favorite things about this game, aside from the awesome visuals. I mean, just look what's going on in the background. It's just, ah, it's so good. Um, is the soundtrack. So there are two soundtracks for each world. Um, plus obviously the obstacles you go over and the gold you pick up adds on like an extra layer of melody. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut up so you can listen to this song, and then when we get into the uh, other song, which I was talking over with the first level, I'll go ahead and shut up for that one too. So, enjoy. The guy in the background, so happy. Oh, and of course the camera panned away right when I- Oh, there he is! <laughs> oh, I just you want to give him a hug. When you put him in a glove because he kind of looks like a finger with freckles and a derpy looking face. Okay. Yeah! Alright, now the key to doing the bullseye is I always wait um, for it to go up once, down once, and then the second time going back up uh, before I launch myself out, so... That tends to work pretty well, so that's the strategy I always stick with. Anyway, now that we showed Command Girl video, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my default Commander video, because if you guys can tell, I know it might be a little difficult. Might just be a little difficult. I am, in fact, a male, so... You know how that works. Alright, so, uh, what that is telling us, basically, is that you can basically ha Basically. You can have two kinds of jumps in this game. You can have a short hop like that, or you can hold the B button down to kind of like lie down. And um, while this might not sound like it makes a whole lot of difference, later levels where it's like pixel precision, literally the glide jump makes all the difference. Oh my god. So uh, definitely something very useful to keep in mind. Also, uh, if, you're a, if you really want a challenge, if you really want some extra points, you can actually jump over that checkpoint. Um, I'm probably not gonna do it too much unless I have to like revisit levels or something. Uh, just because I really don't want to replay an entire level. Usually I uh, I miss that second gold thing coming down. Oh, <sighs> all right. So if you can tell, this game it kind of requires a lot of concentration. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely try to focus on the commentary side and keep things lively. So if my gameplay suffers for that, my apologies. Alright, bullseye time. Oh man, that was close. Sorry, I got the snippets. Um, man, uh, one thing when I do the bullseyes is I like I'm always on the edge because I'm on the edge of glory. Is this? It's Cloud Titans again, isn't it? Maybe. If this is the uh. The first song I neglected to let you guys listen to, I'm gonna be quiet for it, but... I can't tell, is it? No, it's Cloud Titans. Uh, basically, the uh, the two themes for World 1, Welcome Wonderland, is... Welcome Wonderland, and... Uh, I think it's called Cloud Titans, so... One of these days, we'll get Welcome Wonderland, and I will actually show you guys the melody. And by show you, I mean let you listen to it. Ooh, words! There, I think that's happening. Alright, so, um, oh! One thing that, uh, we passed by that I didn't really mention was that there's a golden cartridge. Now, I'm gonna go, like, usually when I play a level that has a golden cartridge in the, well, level, I tend to skip them and then come back after I get a perfect plus in said level, so... Hopefully I don't screw things up so I can get the perfect plus, and then we can go back and show you just what that golden cartridge does. So come on, Bretta. I mean, Commander video. Yeah, closer to the center. Not quite, but it, it's like it's like an old friend, you know, who went off to Puerto Rico for a couple months, and you haven't, you didn't really keep in contact with them that much, but you still did uh, in in a way, you know, like Facebook messaging or whatnot, you know. So I mean, when they come back, you you still know their mannerisms, kind of, but you kind of like forgotten their face and. You know, you know how it is, right? You know? Like an old friend. Anyway. Uh, I wanna say... Okay, wait. Was the cartridge before? Or after the checkpoint? 
I'm actually not entirely sure. Oh, there it is. All right, now, there are five golden cartridges in each world, right? Um, as you'll see, they take you to, like, an 8-bit slash Atari-themed uh, bonus level. So, uh, with these levels, if you... S blah, 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 words. If you look at the upper left-hand corner, there are three hearts. You only get three tries to beat this level. If you die anywhere, you get sent back to the very beginning, and again, you're left with one less chance to do it. Now, I'm collecting the gold, but you don't get any bonus for getting all the gold in the golden cartridge level, so if I ever miss one, I'm not going to be super anal about going back and, like, killing myself to get it, so. Also, as you can tell, they're really short. Uh, I think each one is less than a minute long, so. They're really not that difficult. Uh, probably the hardest thing is transitioning uh, between the 8-bit aesthetics and then, obviously, the 3D ones, so. All right. Cloud Surfer. Also, oh, I failed to mention the level names. We got Stratostar, Plain Weather, oh, ha, 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 funny, uh, the Whifferdill, a Winty, <laughs> a Winty, what am I saying, a Winty Interlude, and Cloud Surfer, oh. Now, if you can see, there's a thing that says find, and it shows a chest. Oh, we got sliding, yay. Um, there are a ton of collectibles in this game, most of them being costumes for the different characters, but, whew. We're going to be doing a lot of, uh, what do you call it, uh, replaying levels in order to get all the costumes. So, uh, I think we'll also be introduced to a another new mechanic. Oh, oh, this is Welcome Wonderland. Okay, I'm going to shut up and let you guys listen. And with that, we beat the level. If you can tell, this game also has split paths. It's pretty easy to remember. Green is like the normal way. Red with a skull on it is the challenge. Uh, I'd, oh, yeah! Dead center, almost, kind of. Um, I always go for the red path. I mean, you know, I sell for less, you know? So with that, we got our first reward. Let's check this poop out before I end it off. Bit trip, aha! Very nice. All right, well, um, how I'm gonna structure this Let's Play, at least my goal, at least, is every episode we're gonna get through five levels. If, we, if it means we have to replay certain ones to get certain stuff, so be it. But we're always gonna get past five levels on the world map. So, anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching me play, and oh man, I don't know about you guys, I am so excited to play through this with you. Uh, and I will see you next time for dangerous altitude. See you next time.